Hello students, welcome to Sobsus classes. Today we will be solving the ISI MSTAT question paper from the year 2017. We previously solved the question numbers question 1 to question 13 in our previous videos. Today we will be solving question number 14 and question number 15. So let's begin with question number 14. In question number 14, it has been said that, it, that, there, is, that there is a function f which goes from the r to r and is differentiable at 0 and there is a condition that f of x is less than f of 0 and is less than f of y for all x less than 0 and, and 0 is less than y. Then we have to find out that what is the set of all possible values that f dash 0 can take whether it is a single tone set containing the value containing the element 0 or whether it is the interval 0 to infinity or whether it is the open interval 0 to infinity or whether it is the real number set r and so these are the four options that we have to check so let's begin let me move the page upwards so that i can get more space and so let's begin now now it has been given that f of x is less than f of 0 and is less than f of y this is the value that we have been given and where x is less than 0 and 0 is less than y so if we find out so by definition f dash 0 is equal to limit first the uh, first let us write on the left hand limit limit h tends to 0 minus f of 0 minus f of h by h and this is equal to the right hand limit or limit h, h tends to 0 plus f of h minus f of 0 by h now we know that um, if this is 0 then h plus will be somewhere around here and h minus will be somewhere around here so basically f of h minus is less than f of 0 and f of 0 is less than f of h plus so in this case f of well let me use some more space below insert one new page over here so the left hand limit I shall write the structural function again the left hand limit is given by limit h tends to 0 minus f of 0 minus f of h by h in this case f of h minus is less than f of 0 so this is a negative so this can be taken as negative the interstructure will be negative and similarly RHL will be equal to limit h tends to 0 plus f of h minus f of 0 that is equal to h and that by h now here f it is function of h plus and h plus is greater than f of 0 so uh, the part above will be positive so we can write this will be some kind of positive thing now so both of them have different signs different signs the left hand limit and the right hand limit have different signs but also limit and the function is differentiable function is differentiable at x equal to 0 So at the point x equal to 0, the function is differentiable. So right hand limit should be equal to right hand left hand limit. But we have also found out that the right hand limit and the left hand limit have different signs. So there is only one possibility that uh, the function is differentiable at x equal to 0. If f dash x is equal to 0 at x equal to 0, that is the right hand limit and the left hand limit are both equal to 0. And if that is the case, then only option A is correct. 
that is the set from which um, uh, the set of the set of x will be singleton set zero. This is the correct answer. Let's move on to the next question. Let's solve question number fifteen. In question number fifteen, it has been said that uh, there are three events A, B, A, C which are pairwise independent, such that each of them occurs with probability p. The probability of the event A, B, C is p, and it it is to be assumed that all three cannot occur simultaneously. Then what is the probability of p? A union B union C, and the options that have been given is one minus one minus p whole q p q three p into one minus p and three p. These are the four options that we have to check. Uh, so now let's begin with solving the problem. Now it has been given that all three of them cannot occur simultaneously. That is, um, the three events A B C cannot occur simultaneously. In that case, p of a intersection b intersection c is equal to zero. Another condition is that a b c are pairwise independent. If the events pair a b c are pairwise independent, then we can write that p of a intersection b is equal to p of b intersection c, and that is equal to p of c intersection a, and all three of them is equal to p square. That is p into p. So therefore, p of we know that the formula for p a union b union c is given by p of a plus p of b plus p of c minus p of a intersection b. Minus minus p b intersection c minus p c intersection a plus p of a intersection b intersection c. Let me move the page upwards. I have moved on to the next page. So okay, let's. The terrible stuff. Okay, so let's move it. Now let's let us keep it over here. Okay, so now p of a is equal to p, p of b is also equal to p. Let me use a different thing. Let me use a different thing over here. Now p of a is equal to p, p of b is also equal to p, p of c is also equal to p. And p of a union b, p of b unions b intersection c and c intersection these are all equal to p square. So basically, p of a union b union c and this is equal to zero. This is equal to three p minus three p square, and this is equal to if we take three p common, it will be one minus p, and this is the option c. So today we have solved question number fourteen and fifteen. From the ISI Amstrad paper of year 2017, we'll be solving the next questions in the upcoming videos. Thank you very much for watching Sharpus classes, and all the best for the upcoming exams.